And we are underway at 141 pounds. Your finals, we have Zach Horan of Central Michigan. He's in the maroon and yellow singlet. He's taking on Steven, or Steve Gleese of Northern Illinois. Both these wrestlers are ranked top 20 in the nation. Zach Horan, 14th. Steve Gleese, 15th. So Gleese could potentially knock off the 14th and 15th ranked wrestlers in his weight class consecutively. With a, he had a victory over Danny Sabatello in the, semi, in the semifinals. Horan, medical forfeit to advance to the finals here. Moran pulls heavy on that collar and brings Gleeze down to front headlock. Still on, still not on the mat though. Underhook on the right side for Horan in the front headlock. The referee's gonna steal it and bring it back up to their feet. One minute and 31 seconds left in the first period. Horan, a two-time national qualifier, excuse me, three-time national qualifier. He's been around the 12, I believe two times in his career so far. He's looking to get over that hump this year in All-American. And as I say that, Gleeze in on a low single, and Horan passing the leg to scramble. Guy's got to get height here. Whoever's gonna, whoever gets high here is going to win this scramble, but they're going to stalemate it out. Heavy snap by Blues. Not much action here so far in the first period. But... Scoreless into the second period. Stephen Blue is going to like to take the bottom to begin the second. right up away, up to his feet. Moran, assistant on holding him down, Lee's gets his leg away, and he's got the one point escape to jump back to a one zero lead. Heavy on that collar on the right side. Single leg attempt. Blues blocks him off. Blues 
still not very much action between these two wrestlers. Both guys are fighting inside for good position. Moran yeah. likes to say in that low stance, keep his back straight, keep his head, his hands low, playing in the middle of the mat. Lee's known more for his, his attacks and haven't seen much of that. Moran has shut him down so far in this match. And we have 15 seconds left in the second period. Coming to the end of the second period, Blees is going to take a 1-0 lead to the third. Horan's choice, Horan's going to select the bottom position. to his feet right away. Get that one point escape. Riding time is not a factor thus far in this match. Brand, another single leg attempt. Lee stuffs it, re-attacks. Now he's got a Heading on, he's trying to jack it up. He's gonna to try to throw it, and he's gonna to toss Horan to get the two-point takedown to take a three-to-one lead here. And Horan right up. Blees tried to throw a leg, and Horan kicked it out, and he got the one-point escape. Three-to-two lead for Steve Blees. One minute left in the bout. Horan swiping at that single leg, but Blees blocks him off. He's again jacking up Moran. And a beautiful inside trip. Blees is going to take Moran down. He's got a 5-2 lead over the 13th ranked wrestler in the nation. Steven Blees is looking, excuse me, Steve Blees is looking impressive here today. Moran looks at the clock. An escape and a takedown will still tie this match up. So Horan is still in this bout. forward trying to get this attack and Blees again tries to jack him up and pushes him out of bounds. Horan won for stalling 14 seconds left in the bout. Horan needs to go here if he wants to take this bout to overtime and he's trying to jack him up. Underhook on that right side and he goes high crouch attack and Blees again getting a little chippy at the end of the bout. But Steve Blees is going to be your MSU Open champion at 141 pounds. 